frustration and anger is building on the Treasure Coast over water releases from Lake Okeechobee. Today, the district commander for the Army Corps of Engineers heard some of those voices loud and clear. WPTV's Matt Sesney was there as one congressional lawmaker didn't hold back about the impacts of the discharges on our communities. He is the man at the center of the storm regarding Lake O and the St. Lucie River, Colonel Jamie Booth of the Army Corps of Engineers, and he came to catch some heat in Stewart. Also heard a lot of feedback that, that folks are, are feeling like we're not listening. The colonel came to the river's coalition, outspoken opponents of the Lake O water releases into the St. Lucie River. Congressman Brian Mast among them. They are crapping on our community, and they do it in impunity. And, and that's worth being upset about. It is literally an injustice, and injustices are worth being upset about. Mast used colorful language to describe how the releases have turned Stewart's water from Bahama blue to guacamole green. And the river's coalition outlined what's in the 48 billion gallons released since mid-February. 32 metric tons of phosphorus, about 348 metric tons of nitrogen, and over 5,400 metric tons of total suspended solids or silt and sediment. All of this led Colonel Booth to face questions, especially from Congressman Mast. Will you specifically say you are polluting our coastal estuary? It is clear uh, that, that phosphorus, that additional uh, turbidity in the water, uh, potentially if, if those releases are coming with cyanobacteria, uh, that, 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 is, that is poor water quality. And it is having a negative impact on these estuaries. Colonel Booth admits it's a balance he is trying to meet, keeping Lake O at a safe level and managing rainfall and possible flooding to communities around the lake. If at all possible, I want to keep my releases, decisions in the beneficial range, not having impacts to environment. And then really, if I'm really forced to, then I'll make the decision to change that. A little bit of relief for many here as the Army Corps says they plan to start a two-week pause on water releases this weekend from Lake Okeechobee. And next Friday, the Colonel says he plans to announce a new plan on how water is released down the St. Lucie River. In Stewart, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.